They say the future is not yet written. It's ours to decide in the choices we make. It's in the things we make. And how we choose to make them. As we innovate, so we elevate. Exploring new techniques. Engineering new technologies. Embracing new ways of thinking, doing and being. To craft positive change that redefines the very fabric of sustainability. Wetlands, they hold twice the carbon of all the trees in the world combined. If we regenerated just 3% of European wetlands, we'd be able to reduce European agricultural emissions by 25%. If we want to change the industry, we need to look at the origins and looking at regenerative sources. Honda is a biomaterials company developing next generation textiles from plants grown on regenerated wetlands. Our main mission as a company is to expand and accelerate the regeneration of one of our most precious ecosystems. I think the fashion industry can be a huge mechanism for change. There's still so much we haven't explored. We need to prolong the life of clothes. There's enough clothes in circulation right now to clothe the next six generations of people. With rental, we can shift this linear commerce to something that is circular commerce. Circularity is vital to the fashion industry. It was kind of then that Lonehood grew as an idea. It was something that needed to change and something needed to be done, and why wasn't it us? This is the generation that is going to change. It all started with my nephew, Vigor. When he was born, I gifted him some clothes, and by the time they arrived, they didn't fit. Everything that we do with Pitipi is designed to instill emotional durability in the next generation. It's something that's designed that is resourceful in the way that it's using our planet's materials. Children grow seven sizes in just two years. We have prints that actually change as the child is growing. A turtle turns into a tiger, flowers blossom. The exciting possibilities of the future of fashion really lie in creating a better world. Fashion produces a very large proportion of plastic waste that ends up in the oceans or in our water supply. Al Green has invented the world's first bio-based polyurethane products. The idea was born that it might be possible using agricultural waste to create a polyurethane that was bio-based. Scarily, we are all ingesting the weight of a credit card in plastic every month. Let's get away from all this waste and let's do what we can to create products that are more sustainable. That's got to be the goal. The future of fashion is not yet written. It's ours to design. It can be what we make it. <laughs>